All right, folks. If you saw the previous episode, you know this is where we ended it, and uh, I wanted to lead off with something. I have no idea how this is going to go, but it looks like it should be a good battle. I mean, if you look at the initial forces, they're almost dead even. If you look at the time the reinforcements show up, it's pretty close to even. We took Richmond. The CSA was none too pleased. They're counterattacking. The force sizes are comparable. You can see across the board, the Union has a little bit more of everything. Uh, but, you know, you got to actually fight the battles to see how they go. So that's why we're here. That's what we're doing in this one. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. I've already turned down OBS. So if the music sounds a little bit quieter on the load in than it should, I did that so I did not repeat the mistake of two episodes ago where we did about 45 minutes of a battle with uh, OBS jacked up and with the new and improved sound it uh, it just overrides the mic unless I'm screaming at you full blare but uh, sound setting should be good hopefully this isn't a dud and uh, we'll get into it All right, so this is what we are looking at. You can see this is where we are deployed. We're going to deploy it. Probably going to go up to this crossroads here, move up to Shady Grove Church. I really like this map uh, because it's got a lot of things, right? It's It's got open ground. It's got woods. It's got fences. It, it doesn't have a great urban area, which is sometimes cool on a map like Winchester, but I think other people hate it, and, and 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 I get that. So this has a mix of things. If you end up fighting along this uh, Beaver Dam Creek, a lot of choke points. It's it's very interesting. So we get that meeting engagement. We're just going to go ahead and orient ourselves. We're going to clean up this map so that it is as pretty as possible here. Yeah, it is Ormsby Mitchell. Uh, and what is what is the gist here? Okay, so it's it's yeah, it's just McDowell's super core here of thirty five thousand, and I don't think we need a terribly complicated. Oh, uh, actually, you know what? I've never actually had fighting go on in Mechanicsville. That doesn't really qualify as kind of nervous. Reinforcements or the army could come there. Could come there. So our plan is going to be to send out. Nope, that was not just the Cav. Okay, we're gonna send out Morals Cav. I thought that he had two brigades in other battles, but it doesn't matter. We're gonna go, and uh, Moral is gonna run right on through here. We're just gonna assume that we're capturing it, and uh, yeah, everybody else can kind of move up after that. We're gonna get Hunters. Vision there, Heinzelman there, USG there, and Keyes's considerable division back here to flex to any one of those three spots. And then I'll put you on pause while we can find And oh no, is the cab going to get trapped up? Well, that's my problem. All right, so we... We looked down here, they were not down the Mechanicsville Turnpike, so maybe, maybe another group. But we have found them here, and we're kind of just getting in position. It took us a long time to figure this out. Uh, so we're going to bring Moral back here. And we've detached all of our artillery, which is, yeah, I think it's pretty useful. Uh, we're going to move infantry up here. Move Grant up here as well. And eventually we are going to finagle all of our... Here, we don't need our scouts out anymore. But yeah, we'll, we'll move our artillery up as well. But if we just want to sit in those woods, I don't know, maybe even with the artillery off to the side. I, I, I'm not too sure. I think I'll probably try to keep it somewhat close. 
Uh, keys, I think, needs to be over here because I'm, I'm more concerned about getting hit from over here. Unfortunately, because map edges are, are a real thing, there's nothing we can do about it. Never actually tried defending along it, but uh, I'm not going to intend to do that here. Uh, looks like we could probably get a battery here. Yeah, battery there. Okay, they're already moving up. Rickets. Yeah, he's pretty much in the right spot. All right, we're going to put them up there. And I think over here. So it, you can see it is just about nighttime. So if they're only going to push out with one brigade, we're going to try to stop that while we got some high ground to work with. And it'll either buy us time. Right, time is on our side. We, we get to the victory point first. And in an otherwise close battle, victory points certainly help. Um, I guess Burnside we can push over here. Yeah, Heinzelman's in an okay spot. Grant is... All right, so Crittenden's battery has not been... Not been detached. Uh, apparently it has been. And Grant just... Uh, yeah, no, we, we we don't need to move them. Uh, but we could probably move Ricketts up to here. I'm not sure if the battery can see through those trees. So we'll get them there. Keys is kind of coming up to the right position. At least two of those brigades are going to be near roads. The other two are kind of... Eh, kind of stuck. But yeah, see, this is a concern. Cooper arrives, so that's got to be for them. I believe they were getting it is oh yeah and they arrived close too so that that is something we're gonna have to pay some attention to i see, see those other okay with those other brigades showing up we want to get i want to get high back i want to get mcdowell back as well i uh, thought we agreed we wanted to be up there with that battery Since we tend to get bunched up in the center, we'll, we'll try to play a little wide here with Grant. And if they want to go to the corner of the map, let them do it. But I don't really want to do that. Okay. I think we can go up to 5x without confusing the AI too, too much. Yeah. Maybe we'll actually just slide keys over a bit like that. Hunter out here. Hide is coming around to where I need him. Uh, let's get Crittenden up. Let's get Ricketts up as well. I know we're about to go to nighttime, so we're just going to get a free reset anyways, but... That's the nature of the thing. If, if we have more forces that come in over here, Mitchell's in a decent place to be able to bring them in. we got to think about where else. Again, I'm not trying to corner camp the AI. It's just that it's what happens when the game generates so many of these points that f for the size of the armies and the maps that, that they're kind of cut off by the map edges. So, Okay. We will slow down, for sure. Uh, Grant can probably push up into those woods there. Heinzelman should be able to get out skirmishers. Crittenton can open up. And we have hide over here telling us if anybody shows up on what is now our left. Okay, Ricketts is the other batter. I could not... Couldn't account for them. We'll see. If they continue pressing up, what, what are their orders? Their orders are to come all the way through. 
Yeah, that's that's really not what you want to do. Not yet. I think I think what we're actually going to want to do is not not move them there. Move them there. Yeah, and as much as much fun as that is and we could probably get away with waiting till nightfall to do that. We're not gonna. Okay, so they they smartly stopped. Yeah, I think I think this battery's in okay shape for now. Okay, these groups are probably disrupted a little bit by. Uh, some of that other stuff. All right, so they are gonna press up. So then we're gonna press up as well. Skirmishers out there. And we will move up like that. And let's go watch the action here. This is me helping out the AI. Oh boy. Oh, I did chide the AI last time for not being aggressive enough. You know what? These guys, I think, just got to shoot. Yeah. I don't think we're going to get them out in time, so... We may take casualties in that battery, but if we can knock out a brigade for it, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'd rather push up on these guys. I don't really want my skirmishers. I want my brigade shooting at these guys. So that's going on on the right. I uh, might want to move a little bit faster here. All right, McDowell is uh, kind of centrally located. Okay, they already have skirmishers out over here. That's fine. Yeah, I think Ayers is just hoping for uh, nightfall here. All right, so we did route that undersized, well, for this game, undersized cav brigade. Yeah, that's actually a good move by the AIs falling back and waiting for reinforcements. Not sure about some of this other stuff, but it's actually not not bad enough at this point that I feel like I need to intervene. Okay. Yeah, they need to, like, they got to move out of there a little bit quicker. All right, and they can pick up their skirmishers as they run by because their skirmishers ain't doing them any favors anymore. Okay, we'll have Grant push up like this. Yeah, I I have little complaint about the AI so far. I think we want to stop that. Yep, they got to fall back there. That's right. Good, good. 
All right, I would say Griffin is probably now... I mean, are there any... There really aren't that many decent places for, for artillery over there. I think we're just going to take them out and put them over here. And probably move all of those batteries a little bit over that way. You can see we're a little bit light on man, men, man, manpower on this side. So maybe we'll try to make up with artillery some of what we're missing. I'm not sure how they're still being shot. Uh, what is this, a melee here? Are these guys routed? Okay, they panicked already? Then don't worry about it. Don't, don't run into them. Yeah, that's fine there. Okay. And then this battery can rotate out over here. So if we do lose these woods and they try to push through, we can, can throw some fire at them. Oh, no. There we go. We'll push up like that. My advice, live to fight another day. Same thing with that artillery, and same thing with this infantry. That infantry is going to get 3 v one They're going to get 2 or 3 v one uh, That artillery... Hold on. Where is it? I swear I saw artillery there. But, yeah, they, they really need to fall back. Okay, get you over there, get you over there. But yeah, it's it's five brigades versus two. And I, I don't think they're gonna win that. Even with the artillery support. I'm telling you guys, like you gotta go now. If you don't go now, you're gonna you're also going to be lost, so. Okay, they can't put out skirmishers. They already know to fall back, which is, my goodness, guys. What, what do I have to do to get you to fall back? This is, this feels like the last battle now. But you know what? I'm not gonna lose a brigade to save an understrength battery. That's a bad trade. Okay, we'll have them facing that way. Oh! Whoa! Okay then. Uh, yeah, no, we don't. First of all, it is 7 p.m. Uh, battle time. Also, yeah, the AI's reinforcements are no joke. Coming up this right side. Uh, all right, maybe we got to put you back there. Well, Grant's actually got to fall back now. I support Heinzelman pushing in the center here. This 3v1 is is potentially right. My goodness. Can I just get that battery to shoot at me? Man, that's an odd thing to say, but okay. So seeing that, I would absolutely pull back with Heinzelman to these woods. And I think Keys needs to try to shift his... Actually, Hunter needs to stop. Because I, I, I don't think they're going to try to make that march around anymore. I think Keys just needs to kind of... Nope, nope, nope. I don't think we need to do that. I think maybe we'll just do it by Brigade here and just move them back like that. And move Pleasanton up here. And again, when, when Nightfall actually hits, we should be in okay shape. OK, 
Okay, we could move a little bit quickly here because we got some rest coming up. I don't think I've missed any messages about uh, grand content. Yeah, it's just people in contact. That's fine. Move it up to 5x because I assume that the move for the AI here is to just continue pressing up. But yeah. Okay. All right, AI is doing a fair job here. I was just going to say, don't push up Manny yet. Wait for this. Uh, yeah, it looks like you got other people back here as well. Okay. So. Oh, that's actually not as good. For some reason, I thought that that position was a lot better than it turned out to be. Okay. So we got you, we got you, and we got you. All that's fine. Okay, you're going to spin and do that. Uh, that's not really what I wanted, but here, we'll we'll push you guys that way. Ricketts, okay. Let's see what happens here. This should be us now, because they got their reinforcements first. McClellan arrived where? That is amazing. <laughs> That's that bubble reinforcement thing. So, Clellan's force is no joke. Um, we could put McClellan on the right. And what we're going to do is pretty much just going to reorient all these guys. And here, we'll put our skirmishers back. Put your skirmishers back. Just kind of set you up like that. Dal can come back. Heinzelman can stay right where he is. Um, why? Okay, where is Grant? Grant is here. How are we doing this here? What is going on? Okay, you're going to be there, there, and I guess there. Oh, Ares' battery is beat up for, for reasons, I guess. All right, we'll bring Hunter back over here like this so he could reinforce. And McClellan, we're just going to detach Howe's battery. Okay, that looks okay there. Yeah, this, this field is going to be not a place anybody really wants to go. That's what we're going to try to do. That is just a nuts amount of guns. Okay, I love three v I love three in the front, one in the back. That's fine. The AI should probably do that all the time, but doesn't. Yeah, and it's weird there that they didn't they did not elect to go with that. Um all right, let's at least move up. Or, you know what? I said I'd never use this. I'm going to use this. So put you there, and we'll put Matthews back over here, and probably between Matthews and Grant should, should we need to do something we can. This is kind of a weak spot here in the center. We have only five brigades, and we have far more over here. So we're vulnerable. We, we do have Cav. Hmm. Okay. Put them there. Get them down. Get them loose. And I think we can just go ahead and play. I probably should have helped out the AI, but I didn't think of it. Heinzelman skirmishers will go with medium range. I think that's what we'll do for everybody. 
over here. Uh, grant. Move just like that. MacArthur can come up here and sit himself down in the woods. That's fine with me. Medium range skirmishers. Same thing over here. All right. And it looks like they are all taking that route. Oh, yikes. It's a rough decision. I was going to say that must be MacArthur. I guess they can fall back to the railroad there. Patterson, that I think is also mine. Yeah, it's gotta be. Yeah, it's the Patterson. All right. And so I think the Patterson is probably just going to sit on this road as, as reinforcements, at least initially, and then kind of push up to reinforce this position. It's 13 and 13 and 15 and 16 and 16. That's a lot of guns. That is a lot of guns pointed at you. I don't know. If I were the AI, you could feign up here, and then I, I would say just crush this middle here. Which is... If that's the worst case scenario, we should probably move up, because... That's what we need to be worried about. Bring Hyde back a bit. And again, the reason is in case we need to swing them in here, but also we don't want to have them extended if a big old rebel force comes through here that we don't see. We don't want to get them cut off. We want to at least have them be able to delay and, and force the AI to kind of come to us. All right, it looks like they're coming this way, and so rather than have them take out my artillery for, for free, we're going to move up and try to engage them. Should probably have moved them at the double quick. Yeah. So old uh oh Howard has already managed to get himself 500 casualties. Classic, classic Howard. And as much as I don't like this, I if the AI is going to run down the side of the map, I guess it's I guess we can both use it. This just seems like a bad place to stay, but they haven't taken many casualties. 
Uh, yeah, so throwing skirmishers out is the right idea. Now they just gotta make the most of it and try to push. Is that what they're, I mean, they got a nice grouping over here. It's a rough position to it. Yeah, I, I don't think it's gonna work because I think there's too many numbers. And I, I did not see that they got their third army in. I think they had the initial advantage, then I think it swings to me, and I don't even know who it is when the fourth armies arrive, but oh well. All right, Patterson, Patterson is going to come up and uh, we will just, mm, I mean, that's kind of like, eh, we'll try to help everybody. I think we're gonna try to come up there. Uh, you know what? This actually is better. We, we, we have a lot of troops on the right. Far more than I think they do. Can I give them any help at all? I, I would try to get them in single line, but I, I don't really want to reorganize them if they're fighting. It'd be better to just keep fighting. But I'm going to give you some advice. You probably want to move back. And these guys probably should move up. And at least face off against MacArthur over there. And they should probably have skirmishers out. I don't know why they're in AI stance of screen. Uh... That makes no sense to me. Sturt, can you... Who else do you... Oh. I, honestly, you guys should fall back. Rhodes, I don't know who you're a part of. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Donaldson, you should probably fall back as well. Uh, Archer. Bah, 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 bah. Archer is part of Mackie. Should probably fall back. And Cheatham, I have no idea where you are. All right, I guess you're somewhere back there. So they they, they should move up there. This is not. As you can see, this is not going to go well. I don't think any attack through this field is gonna go well. Yeah. Their part, they don't need their skirmishers out anymore. They can fall back a bit. Stuart, you probably want to get back closer to your troops. Same thing with these guys. We're gonna fall back a little bit, or yeah, very little bit. I mean, if they're not going to fall back, then we are going to hit them, but old Dan Ruggles, uh, I swear I told this group to fall back. I know, I know, suspect loyalties, but it is going to go much worse if they don't. So probably use skirmishers just about everywhere. Just to delay some of my counterattacking.
I've not looked at the left, so I'm just assuming all is well, and it it does seem that way. How tired are they moving up and through the forest now? They're they're fine. Heinzelman's fine. Everybody's fine. Okay, Grant's done his thing. Probably retired behind his guns now. Clallan unusually aggressive here. And Rufus King can move down here. That's fine. Bushrod Johnson. Where are you at? You're part of Herbert as well, and you still haven't done what I said? What is Cooper command? He's got a core? Oops. Uh, Andrews is low on ammo. I think they would have a shot if they push through the center here. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's eight brigades. Uh, a lot of the artillery. Eh. If they were able to sneak a force over here, but it's hard to it's hard for me to sneak a force that I don't know about over here. So again, this is kind of what happens when you don't when you don't fall back correctly. Yeah, you have to end up doing this weird realignment thing when you're getting shot at. So uh, how are we on casualties here? Yeah, they're, they're they're doing pretty poorly. I mean, this is this is a more typical kind of. They're down two v one. I would say, detach them. Uh, detach them. Of course, Ruggles is well. What is this over here? This is Archer. All right, well, they can be detached as well. I thought they already were detached, but I guess not. And maybe they can come out in a straighter line now? All right, I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's not going well. And e even this, it's 1,800 with Maynards against 19, 2,100, 2,100. My goodness, 2,000 who have the railroad embankment, so it's probably not gonna go well. Uh, there's no reason for Matthews to continue up. So we'll, we'll pull Matthews back. All right, so that's Pickett's force. And they are showing up close, but they're not gonna get here before Patterson does. And looks like all these batteries are firing some, finding something to fire at. Which is good enough for me. What is this? Griffin low on shells. My 13 guns are running dangerously low. That's interesting. I've never seen that before. Oh. Oh. How did we run out of ammo so quickly without these guys on bombardment? That's okay. Just keep your canister and we'll, we'll, we'll make it work. All right, so the CSA has got a big old push over here. That's okay. Crittenden low on shells. Yeah, but he's got a lot of case shot left, so he'll be all right. All right, what I'm thinking is that maybe we send Heinzelman up. 
and keys and do something here on what I think is the left and see if that relieves some of the pressure on the right. Again, I'm not really sure what they're doing dancing around like this. Like, Okay, they, they know to assault. That's Cooper's on assault. Just is on assault. Stuart doesn't seem... Stuart should probably take some view. It would probably provide some overall direction for his forces, but... All right, we have Hatch. We don't really want Hatch's cavalry. I don't want them in the middle. I know that. But I guess that's where they're going to end up until we find somewhere better to put them. Garth is almost out of ammo. And, yeah, little... Little got the worst of that trade. Alright. Let's advance forward. With Keys. With Heinzelman. Alright. Grant's... Grant doesn't get any more skirmishers because they've been, they've been knocked out. So he's going to push forward. Matthews, you don't get any new skirmishers because yours have been pushed out as well. But they, Matthews is going to advance. You know what? Let's, let's put Hatch over here because MacArthur is running out of ammo. My goodness, man. Look at, look at these choices of how to move. Moving in line rather than marching column. Yeah, the, the smarter thing to do would be to stop them so that they don't get too exhausted, but I ain't doing that. Yeah, this battle is why you play Grand Tactician. It looks pretty good. And ammo does seem to be a bigger issue. We seem to be burning through it much quicker. I mean, the, the shooting with the rifles here is... We did a little bit the day before, but we shouldn't have been that low. Yeah, you need to, like, do something about this. Uh, yeah, you need to move back. You're gonna get... You are gonna get surrounded here, friend. Friend, who's not really a friend. Uh... Maybe we just have Casey go up that way. We'll have MacArthur's cab sit back and just, you know, give their morale support. is sticking out like a sore thumb. I'm trying to recall who he's with. He's he's gotta be a part of Heinzelman. I don't know if he has to be, but he is. 
Yeah, Heinzelman might be moving a little too quickly. He's not... Probably should have let Keys have a little bit more time to get over there, but... We're moving now, so... Can't really stop. Oh, and they got prior to break, so Grant should be able to come up now and help Franklin a bit more. And now Franklin's dangerous. Yet, yeah, no, they they really cannot stay there. Guys, you do, you do not want to be moving up right now. Okay, I don't know why you would have a bombardment that close to you, but probably don't mean to do that. You guys need to turn and face the enemy and probably get yourself in some better ground. You're not in the forest yet. You might want to get skirmishers out. So might you. Okay, you already have them out. You want to get in loose formation. This is all things that you should be doing anyways. Okay, we'll give you skirmishers as well. Okay, I guess they already have skirmishers. I guess they do as well. I know I led with some of my artillery, but you guys don't want to do that. Huger, 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 what are you part of? Tell me it is part of Pickett. Mm, it's, it's not. It's Cheatham. Alright, Cheatham needs to move up. Double quick, all the rest. B Jr. Okay, you're part of... Oh, you're just... You're just part of all of that. Alright. Oh. Well, I'm not sure how to do it when they're under the command of... Gist, I guess? I don't know. Something. Something like this. Again, you guys, you gotta kind of fall back and keep that fight in front of you. Oh boy. Yes, maybe you can get over there. I don't know. And where the heck for them is Pickett? All right, Pickett needs to show up. Yeah, like right here. And as soon as possible. Okay, move McDowell up. Move Mitchell up. Push them to Mechanicsville that way. Matthews is just going to try to move through them. Grant is going to try something similar. Keys, uh, keys, I don't know about. Oh no, Howard. Oh no. I am sorry about that. Alright, I don't think they're going to have much else on my left. So, I think we can comfortably move up there. Griffin, if you're out of ammo, I'm just going to pull you back because it's silly to keep you firing. Uh, they actually have case shots, so we'll leave them in. They have some ammo in. They have case shot. Alright, they only have canister, so we're going to move them back so we're not abusing abusing that too much. We'll move them back as well for the same reason. Six pound gun, so I guess we don't have everything we could. He 
Yeah, Howard, I think you, uh, you gotta fall back, buddy. What is wrong with these forces? And how are things going on the top line? Still not good for the AI, still two to one. So bring MacArthur maybe back here. We were going to use him for the uh, morale buff, but now we'll just bring him back because he's low on ammo. Since they got ahead of their skirmishers, we'll uh, just call them back. These are the skirmishers that have been left out. It's best to just use those guys against artillery, I think. Well, it looks like Pickett is arriving just in time for the CSA. At least on the kind of left center, I think their right is still... I mean, there are a lot of health... Well, there were healthy brigades. I... I don't know how to get them out of there fast enough here. And McClaws might be able to hold on. Clark is there. Clark is okay. He can move up. Uh, okay, over here. We gotta get down. We gotta get loose. Oh, these guys are these guys are more valuable with morale support than engaging. Uh, Those batteries will probably tear into Richardson, but they got to get out of there before those skirmishers get to him. All right, Hyde is here. Hyde's going to get up there. We're just going to say to heck with the left. surprise there. I mean, McLaws is like the only functioning brigade here. And if he stays there much longer, he's he's not going to be functioning. Here, that's the way out. So if we have to start moving our batteries, or the CSA's batteries there, we should fall back if you can. Can you get skirmishers out? Alright, if you can get skirmishers out, then fall back towards the way out. Because it, it just went all wrong over here. Over here, it's... I still think I'm going to win, but... Alright, are you guys... Well, you're kind of healthy. Well, it doesn't matter now. But if you can have some healthy units come up and relieve the pressure on some of the beat-up units, that's a big help. We'll keep from routing, probably keep him from losing weapons. I I enjoyed the battle. It, it was not the challenge I thought it might be. Ugh. Talifero. I, you fall back. You got to do it with your front facing the enemy here.
Okay. What's left of Heinzelman can try to push up. Same thing for... Well, I guess Keys won his battle, so he's okay. I guess it didn't go so well for them over here on the left or on the right, but... That happens. Yeah. Claus should get out of there. As much as I don't want to let him. He should. pretty cool uh not sure what those guys are doing but they they could do a rear guard action if they can't get out uh, ruggles should run because he's gonna get wiped anyways um uh, yeah i i you know without fully being able to control the csa side it was okay but there are limitations to how much i i can intervene on their side because apparently they won't listen to they won't follow a lot of things, so. So, somehow, I I have no idea. I tabbed out, and the game crashed. I don't even know how I tabbed out. So, that battle didn't actually happen. So, I then got an auto-resolve option, or, or I could have fought a battle out west in Arkansas, and it looked like we auto-resolved and won that. I don't know how this is going to go. So, unfortunately, that whole battle is, is somewhat cool and, and disappointing as, as it was. It, it's maybe less disappointing. I, I don't know. Maybe it's... I don't know. I don't know what it is. But anyways, so that, that, that whole battle was, was kind of for not now. Uh, see that line is, is over here. The, the, he just beat those two armies. The plan is still to have them construct a depot. And it doesn't have to be, like, right here. It can be... I don't care where it is. All right, so we won at Fort William Henry, or Fort William Henry, sorry. R wrong war by a couple, uh, several, actually. Uh, but, yeah. Well, that's the good news over here. Um, I was thinking when I got the option to refight that battle, maybe I would go in as the CSA and, and set them up to make it a little bit better. And, and I'm, I'm just trying to think of a way... in. That where they would be attacking because th they'd have to attack I, I don't know how I could set them up in a way that they could attack and, and win they could definitely do better in terms of casualties uh, inflict more and take fewer but otherwise I, I'm not sure um, just outnumbered in everything and, and with no other advantage that, that would be a tall order I think so all right, so we have the third core here. We know that that is not really a place you want to be. You want to be where there is some supply. I think that means that we win that battle that we didn't. <laughs> that we actually spent this episode uh, going through. Uh, here, we'll give them embedded reporters so that they get stable. Uh, all right, so we, we won enrichment anyways. And... Uh, that was that was the plan so we'll be there we'll uh probably spread out a little bit let's see who is this this is mitchell i have no idea where it's unstable but the casualties are not as lopsided now that that it got auto resolved so uh that is you know that is what it is uh civ orders good one all right we can do propaganda again that's fine um how are we on numbers? So they actually have a manpower advantage over us. So this is how I think it. Either you can do civ order and continue investing in the long term, you know, less support loss through through civ order now, or we can go for recruitment offices, get bigger numbers, force them to match us and drive their economy further into the doldrums further sapping their their morale so th there are two possible angles here 
Uh, I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go the recruitment offices route. We haven't done it as much. And I think that's what we're gonna do. So that'll be the plan there. And I don't see anything else at the moment that I wanna take that I could take. So yeah, uh, that's gonna be that. Policies, we are, okay, we're, we're done with breadbasket one, that's fine. We're gonna do diplomacy one. Just because it is early on, we want to start racking those up and then probably go Revenue Act 2. Maybe go for some of the enrollment things. I, yeah, we, we, we got some time to figure that one out. Uh, over here, having... All right, I was going to say, having one thing so we want to make sure that we get our readiness back. I also don't want these forces too close to one another so we'll move Patterson up here maybe he can draw from that supply dude by some of the other stuff around DC uh, we do know that Longstreet's core is over there uh, but I, I got Richmond so they they don't have to come to me but if they don't they're they're in trouble all right overall we we did make progress messy as it was I guess we forgot to go in over here but that that really wasn't wasn't the theme of this episode so yeah, the battle was fun, uh, but hopefully we have uh, battles that, that actually matter and uh, we don't get those crashes going forward. So, All right, there is certainly more to come, and it looks like, speak of the devil, looks like that more to come might be here in uh, Nashville. Maybe something for the next episode.